Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 2nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the, uh, at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, we continue to break lower. We just opened and we opened lower yet again. So we did break above the middle of the bullish band, ran close to the 50 moving average and then broke down. So we have seen this basically go lower and lower. We have this bottom here around uh, 30 to 28K. And if that were to give away, then we'll probably drop towards 25 and then to 20K. And if 20k breaks, then we are talking about much, much lower levels. It doesn't seem like there is a lot of momentum to the upside at this point. Uh, main reason why we are rallying is because we are so oversold and overstretched. And yes, so people are taking advantage of that. But momentum is still at this point more or less to the downside. And uh, yes it will probably go and retest the 30 and 28k um, in the next few trading days, uh, probably in the weekend. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum, very similar moves here, rallies up towards the 20 exponential and the 50 here, breakdown, rally up to 20, breakdown, rally up to 20, and it looks like we are going to break down yet again. Technical indicators are fairly more bullish for Ethereum than are for Bitcoin, but if Bitcoin falls, then this market will almost certainly follow as well. So if MACD is still bullish, Dicastic is bullish, CCI is getting into negative territory and the RSI is flat. If break below the 200 moving average, then we are going to see that 20 exponential get closer to 200 moving average. And the 50 is racing towards around this area here and the 200 around that area. So we'll probably have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 within the next few weeks. And that will probably drop this towards 1500 and probably also 1000, um, give or take. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano, very similar, rallies up towards the 20, have been sold into. And uh, yes, we'll probably see this drop towards the middle bottom of the bullish band, or probably the around $1 area, which is the 200 moving average. It is uh, more resilient uh, than Bitcoin and Ethereum. It has not broken down as aggressively as those uh, crypto, uh, cryptocurrencies, but Still, 20 exponential is holding, is acting as resistant. And as long as that is the case, we'll just rally, break down, rally, break down, and just continue lower. Break below the 200, we could see this drop towards 0 0.50. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CGI is negative, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin, same thing here. Rallies up to a 20 have been sold into, rallies up to 20 sold into, and at this moment we'll probably see a retest of uh, $103, $100 in the weekend, probably. Technical indicators are slowly turning around, so momentum is definitely to the downside for most of these cryptocurrencies at this current stage. So let's look at NEO. So NEO, very similar thing here. Rallies up towards the 200, no, 20 exponential, breakdown, rally up there, breakdown, and uh, taking out $25, probably dropped towards $20, and then significantly lower than that. We are fairly low here in our size, and um, if we were to drop, then we'll get into very oversold conditions. So this has been falling off a cliff since the very highs here of 139 that seems like a lifetime ago that we were there, and that was only in beginning of May. So yes, this market really moves fast when it moves, and um, it doesn't seem like that uh, that uh, momentum is changing to the upside at this current stage. So let's look at Dash. 
So Dash also running into resistance at the 20 exponential and uh, continues to fall. If we were to break below this candlestick here, 102, it'll probably drop towards 75, 50, and then below that. The very lows down here are down at 33. So yes, if it really takes off into the downside, then we could see uh, levels dropping to those very lows. So down here, we had only roughly yeah, 35, give or take. That is the, uh, as low as these charts show me at, at this point. But the technical indicators, they are, some of them are bullish, but they are leveling off. And it is still not a good sign when we have the 50 crossing the 200 and we're just breaking down from the from these highs of the 20 exponential. So let's look at Dogecoin. So Dogecoin continues to pull back as all the other cryptocurrencies are doing at this point. 20 exponential will mostly move in this direction. 200 will move there. We'll have a crossing around this area here. 50 will probably go a little bit further. So around the end of July, we mostly have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average. And that will probably drop this towards, well, the very bottom of again. So we have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 around here. There we were at minus. That was, could, can't be right. That probably around 0 0.0122. So yes, it is not looking very good for, for Dogecoin. Um, we did bounce from the 200 moving average, but that was more like just a technical bounce. And uh, momentum is definitely to the downside at this point. So hope you find this helpful. You're watching my channel. Subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much.